Hi! Welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I am so glad you're here today. If you're new to my channel, well welcome. I hope you stick around and if you like what you see, become a subscriber because I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And to my subscribers, well, you know I am sending you lots of love and hugs for your support. Here at Artistry Collaborative, we love to inspire creativity and get your juices flowing. We do all kinds of um, interesting uh, arts and crafts. We uh, tackle everything. We repurpose, we DIY, do a lot of Dollar Tree. Sometimes I do some mini craft hauls and um, we're going to be painting some furniture. Just We love to explore. Um, and I love to inspire creativity in everyone and to give you some tips and tools along the way. Today we are going to create this beautiful mosaic dragonfly on a 12 by 12 canvas using beads and micro beads and pastes. Lots of beautiful things. Just gorgeous. So yeah, we're going to do that today. And also stay tuned because at the end I'm going to do a, what I call a quick and easy, just a really short video on how to make little shadow boxes. Um, you sure you might have weddings, graduations, uh, baby showers, and this is a great way to create a grif gift. Boy, I can't talk today. A gift, a very inexpensive. Um, this is for my girlfriend Karen's wedding. I, we became friends on with John Mayer, and so I have one of John Mayer's love songs. She's getting married, and so, um, yeah, very simple, very easy. And But you could do a poem. You could do, uh, write a letter, uh, you know, spell out their name and put the characteristics, their positive characteristics. There's so many things you can do. So we're going to have a real quick and easy at the end, so stay tuned. So... As we like to say, we are the home of Trilab because, well, all we want you to do is try. So, let's try and create this together. So, I um, bought this stencil and um, we are going to have a dragonfly theme in our kitchen. And so, I wanted to make this for my kitchen. So. This is a 12 by 12 stencil and this is a 12 by 12 canvas and I will try to link it down below where I got this canvas, I mean stencil, canvas you can get anywhere. Okay, so I am going to tape this down so it doesn't move and I'm going to use stays on and we're going to outline this whole thing in black. Um, I'm hoping that works. Well, we're going to try it anyway. If not, I'll paint it all white and we'll start all over again. But then I'm going to do the dragonfly in beads. I have a beading tutorial I did way at the beginning. Um, but I'm also going to include, I've never used these before, but they're Nouveau um, Expanding Mousse. And we're going to use that metallic uh, in the background. So let me get some tape. And I'm just using some um, painter's tape and lining it up. the stencil isn't exactly even. So it's kind of hard to make the picture even if the stencil isn't even. But there we go. Alright. So I have my makeup brush. This is from Dollar Tree. And this is stays on ink. And I'm just rubbing it in. And then See, this is going to do the opposite of what I want. <laughs> you know what I should have did? I should have done. I know I know what to do. I'm going to paint this black. And I'm going to <laughs> do it with white. So, I'll be back. 
So I painted it black with black gesso, and now I'm going with this Versa Ma Magic Cloud White chalk ink and just going in to lightly impress where the stencil is. Um, because what I'm going to do is when I lift this, I'm going to fill the gap with beads in the middle. But the sides and the ends this part is going to, I'm going to try this expanding mousse and see how that all works. We're going to just experiment and see what we get. I just have to be careful that I follow the lines of the, like see this and this is the dragonfly, this is not. Okay, so I did the edge with that black shimmer, and now I want to do these circles, and I'm going to try um, these glass beads. Um, they are, let's see, Baba Castell Glass Bead Glitter Gel. Oh, it's hot as a rock. Guess I'm not trying that. Wow. A lot of times when your supplies dry out, you can let them sit with water and they possibly could come back, but instead I will use this laser iridescent paste. And this is at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to try this. So you put it in and you just cover where you want it to. say that because I am doing all these pastes in different colors, I will have to pull this up. So I have to do this in one fell swoop because um, I need to wash the stencil. I can't let it just dry on here because all these pastes and paints will dry on the stencil and then I'll ruin the stencil. So there's that. So if you're going to use all this stuff, you really want to um, realize that it's got to be done in one fell swoop. Um, the beads don't, but all the um, pastes have to be done because, um, again, you don't want to leave that out to dry on your stencil. And normally I would scrape this to get the excess off, but because I'm going to have different pastes, uh, different colors everywhere, I'm just going to leave it chunky and, you know, it's kind of wasteful. 
wasteful, but it's not that bad. This is really pretty stuff. It's some kind of gel, and they have like glitter, chunks of glitter in it. It's really pretty. It's $8.99 at Hobby Lobby, but when you see their art supplies go 50% off, that's the time. That's the time to get it. Yeah, I don't pay full price at all unless it's an extreme emergency. And how many emergencies do you have when it comes to crafting? Not many. Alright. So that's that. Alright, now I am going to blend um, different mousses. Because I would like a um, daughter bought these, so I'm sure she's going to be thrilled that I'm using them. Um, a combination of colors um, in the background. Very much like um, this stuff. So, what I want to do is like take a little bit of this that around I hope this works gonna let the film roll a little bit because I, I'm experimenting here so I'm not sure what challenges are gonna come up and I want you to witness those so that you can see how I work through them. Let's add a little bit of this. So it seems to be doing what I want it to do, which is, you know, to blend, to give a multicolor experience. I think the hardest part is not to cross over into the other faces. Alright, and then I'm going to use I don't know, let me see what this is. I, I can't even read it. It's my Mother Stewart. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a paint.
benefactor. Um, and I did use some of this. It's very dry, but it was uh, Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste. So there's a lot of paste in here. Um, I will put them down in the description box, but uh, but I think that's it. I just wanted like a very muted background. So now here, here we're going to see all those times that I went under my canvas, under my stencil that I wasn't supposed to. But we'll fix it. We'll fix it later. Okay. So that's what we have so far. And I do like it. Yeah. Alright, so now that this has dried, I am going to go back with the um, glitter paste and do the stones to match those circular things. So <clears throat> I'm just going to paint it in. It's very thick. It has big chunks of glitter in it. And I'm just going to go in and fill in all of the stones that surround the, the small stones that surround the dragonfly. So that's what I'm doing here. and just following the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a mosaic so you know there's jagged edges and all of that. So now we're going to fill in the center with seed beads. Um, I have a variety of beads and so um, I've got the purples and the yellows and the, well, it's really kind of a gold and the teals. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our tacky glue and a paintbrush and we're going to put some paint on the spaces, not paint, the tacky glue. And then just put a few beads in each section. It seems tedious, but it really is very relaxing. Um, and I really love the way it turned out. So yeah, you just go along and fill in the, um, the dragonfly. I do put a single large bead for the head, but for the body, um, I use these multicolor beads and then for the wings I separated it into sections and um, did solid sections. Yeah, that was the bead I ended up putting on the head. But Alright, so I'm just going to move along and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So as you can see I have a, a, a multitude of different color beads and what I'm doing is just filling in the separate sections of the dragonfly wing and I'm using uh, a very light teal, a very light green, purple, and some pink. And it's already divided up for you so again it's just filling in it with the tacky glue and then putting in the specific bead color. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I just think that it it 
stands out better than if it was all multicolored. You can do the body as multicolored, but I think the wings need to be a solid color. And then they could be all one color if that's what you prefer, but I do really like the way this turned out. And again, it does not have to be perfect. It's a mosaic, so there's jagged edges, and that's fine. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy the process, because it really is very, very meditative. A toothpick can be your best friend when doing this work because it helps move. I, I kept moving the beads. I wanted the beads to be on their side, not facing up because they have big holes in them. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm great. I'm just going to finish this up and I'll be back. Okay, so once I had the dragonfly all filled out, um, now I had to work on the bigger areas. And so I'm using what they call micro beads. Martha Stewart has a whole selection of them. Um, I have had these for quite a while. Um, but they're just really, really, really tiny, tiny, tiny micro beads. Um, so I'm using the silver color for around the, uh, the dragonfly. And then around the edges where I have the gray stone, I ended up using, um, there was like a mixture of teal and blue and green. And so I used that for the side. And again, it's very similar. Uh, the only thing is, is that they are very tiny and they go everywhere so I shake in the section as you can see they're very tiny and then I pat them down into the glue and then I go and shake it off the excess um, and reuse them and so I did section by section and that's how we did this Okay, so it's complete, but I want to seal it now. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and we're going to go over everything um, with a layer of the uh, Mod Podge. Um, I'm not going to do the, the dragonfly head because it's a big bead and it would show up, but everything else needs to have this coat of Mod Podge. So again, I'm just taking a big brush and I'm going to, uh, I'm just shaking off any little excess micro beads that are not where they should be. Uh. Okay, so I'm just taking a clean brush and brushing off all the beads. And now I have the um, Mod Podge. And there's not much left in this bottle, so I just pour it out on the side here and just brush it on all over, making sure I get every little bit. And it seals it and it keeps all the beads in place. And that's it. I really hope you like this project. I absolutely love it. I'm going to make several because I think people will really, really like this. Um, but thank you so much for hanging in. Don't forget, right after this, there's a quick and easy. So um, hang in there. And um, thank you so much. I appreciate your support so much. If you haven't become a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe and go to our website, artistrycollaborative.org. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. And as we say, at 
Artistry Collaborative. Just keep on creating. Be well, my friends. And there you go. A beautiful mosaic dragonfly. So this is a gift for my good friend Karen who is getting married and um, uh, we became friends uh, on a John Mayer message board over 15 years ago, uh, 2002, yeah, almost 20 years, wow. Anyways, she's getting married and so I wanted to make her something and so I have the lyrics from a beautiful John Mayer song and um, her theme is a beach theme and her home is very beachy and so I wanted to incorporate those colors. Now originally I was going to, um, well I'm using this frame. I've scratched all the um, letters off and it, it takes time but it, it's fairly easy. You just get a um, single edge razor. And it's on the inside, and you just scrape away. Now, they say you can use acetone. I try, and it doesn't seem to do anything. But as you can see, it does come off. So I buy these especially because I like to create shadow boxes and whatnot. But so I cleaned all that off and then I cut a piece of foam core to put my lyrics on. Um, and so what I'm going to do is use some... Uh, And, um, yeah, uh, but originally what I wanted to do was actually hand paint a heart here and then put their names and the date here, but that's not working out that way. So it's okay. You know, you've got to be able to go with the flow and see how it works. And the reason being is you know, you, you put this in here and if you if I did a heart you're going to lose some of the lyrics and I didn't want to shrink the lyrics so you couldn't read them so yeah. So maybe in another video I will do uh, a painting um, with maybe just a couple of words under the heart and uh, I'll show you how to do that but anyway so I'm using tacky glue here and we're going to glue the lyrics. I printed it on a linen type. It's a, it looks very watery, uh, which I thought would go really nice with the beach theme. And yeah. been feeling, I don't know, uh, I'm not going to give up my channel, but I'm, I'm getting very discouraged because I'm, I'm listening to these other YouTubers who have been on only a year, and they have 15,000 followers, and I have, as of today, 466, and I'm disappointed, not, I'm not disappointed, I love you guys, so please don't take that the wrong way. But I would like to to inspire more people, and I would like to be able to have more of an audience. And I'm going to reach out to a couple of YouTubers and see what they do to get that many. I, I, I really don't know what else to do. Um, I feel like my content is is worthwhile. I try. What I do notice is that you know I do things that. 
they're easy, but they may not seem easy. Because my sister reminds me all the time. She goes, that takes too much time. <laughs> well, okay, you don't want to just do things that take a few minutes. You want to you want to engage in, in a, an act of creativity. So, this is just a uh, debit card. It's actually a grocery card that no longer takes cards. But um, this just helps to get rid of any and all um, wrinkles. If you use Mod Pod, you usually get more wrinkles than Tacky Glue, and I just feel like Tacky Glue is better. Anyway, um, so yeah. So I noticed that a lot of channels like do the same stuff over and over again, and I've talked about this before, and... I don't want to do the same stuff over and over, and I don't want to dumb it down. I don't, I mean, I do the quick and easy because they're simple and fast and, you know, but I, I, I need your opinions on what you need to see on this channel um, and what your ideas are for me to help grow it because I really am at a loss. So, that's my little rant today. Anyways, I bought these. I love these. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's just simply beautiful but it's just too big so I cut the lace part off there and what I did is I cut up so that I can have a little bit behind it like that actually I'll put some glue on here right now and put that on there This was actually like, I don't know, do I have it nearby? No, of course not. Um, it was like a, a roll of ribbon. I wanted to add some of that, and then I wanted to add a couple of hearts as embellishments. one that I'm putting together. I want both pieces. I'll try both pieces and see how it works. Like so. And then this will go here. And then what I like about these, I got the, well you can get these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joanne's um, is that you build up the flower and can give it some dimension. Then I'm going to put oh I had that little I got these at a package at Hobby Lobby. They come stickered already, but I'm going to add some glue, and we're going to put that in the middle. Look how pretty. Right? I like that. And then, again, with my um, law of three, rule of three, I just like to do three corners of this particular piece. And I'm going to use another one of these. And another one. This is actually a quilled flower. Q-U-I-L-L-E-D. It's just paper. We made a bunch of them for my daughter's girlfriend's wedding. And, um, yeah, uh, and that's another thing you could do is you could quill like these. I'm gonna, I'll do one. Put down in the comments if you want to see what a quilled uh, invitation or 
um, piece looks like, and I'll be happy to do that for you. Um, but, yeah, that's that. Do I want that, or do I want this one? Let me see. This. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then this is going to go right in here. That. And then I am going to cover the back with a piece of brown paper bag just to make it nice and clean. And then I'll add a um, sawtooth hanger. But yeah, again, this is a, a great gift for maybe someone's graduating and you want to write them uh, a note or a, a poem. Um, I, I just think that these boxes are wonderful for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thinking I might put a bead of hot glue. Okay, so this is the um, brown paper bag on the back and the um, sawtooth. Thing. I just glued it on because it's plastic, so I can't screw into plastic. But there you go. 